Uh, in October 2004, we got information that the government is planning to build two hydropower plants on Vrbas River, one 15 kilometers upstream of Banja Luka and another 25 kilometers upstream of Banja Luka. There is a, a place called Krupa na Vrbasu, uh, and that place would stay in between two, uh, two uh, accumulation lakes, uh, like, uh, like uh, uh, yeah, accumulations, if the dam would be built, and that would have amazingly big impact on the local community of Krupa na Vrbasu. And uh, then uh, at, uh, at the end of the November 2004, uh, at the same day and the same moment when there was a signing the agree uh, agreement between the government and the concessioner company who was supposed to build the uh, dam, we were also signing the uh, agreement between NGOs uh, of starting campaign against. But, uh, there is a huge, um, huge investment but without solved uh, all aspects of the of the of the project because uh, if the dam would be built uh, the the road through the canyon would be flooded and in the uh, contract uh, ag in agreement actually it was not clear who will cover the the costs of the of the constructing new road so it was open so it, at the end it was it could happen that uh, the road Will, ha will have to be constructed from the money from the budget and, uh, and the uh, fees that the company would pay for using the, uh, the hydropower, it's really minimal. So in that, in that sense, on the economical side, there was not really advantage. In the same time, the, the city would benefit really, with really few, uh, small amount, few millions of the euros for, uh, for 25 years. Uh, that could really uh, earn on many other ways, not without destruc destruction of the river. On the other side, there is a, there is a social uh, impact because um, a, a few tens of the people would be uh, would be resettled, will have to leave their homes, and it was also not clear um, about uh, compensation. Uh, many of them were not satisfied with the with the with the amount of the money they would get from for for their houses and the land, so they could not they cannot start new life somewhere else, and of course there is a uh, this uh, environmental impact that is uh, very quite quite big. Uh, we we assess it in that way. Uh, for for example, first it's that we the whole. The whole Banja Luka city is uh, using the Vrbas River, uh, water from Vrbas River for drinking water. Uh, also, the, the impact would uh, have a, a big, uh, the dams would have big impact on uh, microclimate. What is, what is very important, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, this uh, canyon is on the seismic map of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, have the highest level of the of the potential of the earthquakes, so that's again a big uh, a big issue because Banja Luka had a huge uh, earthquake in uh, 1969, and where the city was devastating, like really destroyed. So people still have in mind what would what is the what is the power of the earthquake. The company that was uh, uh, Kind of uh, was the best on a bidding in a, in, in a tendering procedure was a company from Serb actually it's consortium of few companies but leading company was Ser from Serbia and few more others that actually didn't have any uh, experiences in building dams they were just companies uh, building some houses or something like that so it was strange that uh, they were winning the tender and uh, actually that uh, government had in mind to uh, to sign a contract with them but then uh, between the signing a contract actually th that consortium was selling 95 percent of the of the shares to the uh, italian uh, to the slovenian company uh, viaduct from portoroj uh, so it was against uh, this bidding procedure because it said that it can be uh, transferred only 80% of the of the shares of the company 
but they actually transferred 95%. So it was against the law, it was illegal. But it was not the only thing that was illegal. Uh, so, uh, and uh, after the signing the contract of the concession, that company now, uh, the Viaduct from Slovenia, and the others that ha had 5%, they were selling again uh, uh, 79% to the German company, Messerschmitt Baumann Bloom. Actually, that's a, that's a German company uh, that operates in different sectors. And uh, so now we have a German company that is the major, like a shareholder uh, in the company, like 79%, and uh, others having a 20, 21. In the meantime, 2006, I think, there was a World Rafting Championship on Verbas River. So the, the one uh, important uh, group or NGO association in our campaign was this rafting association, Canyon. Uh, the, the, name, uh, the name is Canyon, and they actually were all the time saying how valuable is, uh, is the Verbas River, for example, for rafting. And uh, just to prove that, actually, they managed to get the, the, uh, the chance to organize World Rafting Championship. And that's not easy. I mean, you, uh, the river have to fulfill certain criteria. Uh, to, to get the, the possibility to have a, a World Rafting Championship afterwards. So after that also happens a European Championships and uh, for kayaking and canyoning. So in, in time also city realized the potentials for tourism on, uh, on, uh, on Verbas River and uh, as I said they already made <coughs> decision uh, against a construction and now the government have a problem because they signed a contract and the uh, concessioner, the company, is asking on one side, uh, you know, is expecting that they can start with uh, with operations, with, uh, with the construction, but actually they didn't come even to the point of uh, environmental impact assessment. Mm -hmm.